Á áskósandi geta ferðamenn gist í nokkuð óvenjulegu húsi sem er kúlulaga og staðsett í fallegu umhverfi við bæinn Árbakka. Húsrandir eru frans par, þau lóla og laur end, en þau bjóða líka upp á heimagistingu í bóðurhúsinu. Gisting í kúluhúsinu sem þau kalla Íglúhús er þó það sem dregur flest að Árbakka en það um einstaka upplifun að ræða. It is unique uh, because it is the only one that is offered to um, guests and people and it has a 360 degrees view. So with all the windows you, and the roof also is made out of glass. So from being lying in your bed you can have you can watch and see the sky and mainly the northern lights in winter. It's rather romantic. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> it is. And most of the of the guests actually uh, well a big amount of guests are coming for the honeymoon uh, in the igloo and yeah because it's like in the middle of the field it's the only one so you don't have this feeling that you are sharing the space with a lot of tourists and uh, yeah it's inside quite small but still you have some space to move around the table to have dinner or breakfast so it's really cozy mm -hmm. i think it's uh, a little bit strange to see uh, see the house here uh, in the <laughs> middle of the nature <laughs> yeah it's true uh, but that's also why we have we want to keep one or maybe we will build a second one but not more because we also want the landscape to stay as it is uh, but i think that's also what makes it so special that it's here in the middle of the field and not in a city or in a village and by the river so people were telling us that uh, in the summer they leave the door open and so that they can sleep hearing the river flowing and that's pretty unique as well i guess Kúluhúsi hefur verið sérlega vinsalt hjá pörum í leita romantík en tveimur dögum áður en okkur bara garði hafði erlent par trúlóa sig þar. Saga Lólu og Laurent hefur ekki síður yfir sér romantískan blæ en þau komu til Íslands fyrir þremur árum síðan. Upphalega komu þau á áskósan til að sjá um gistiheimila á Árbakka en þegar eigandi þess á hvað að selja húsið keftuðu það og kúluhúsi með. And the story of this uh, geodesic uh, house, I think uh, this type of building was invented um, early 20th century by a German guy who wanted to have uh, like a structure that is easy to build, but at the same time uh, very solid so that everybody could build their own house and have a roof in case, you know. Uh, so that's how the, this type of building was created and yeah, then the previous owner, who is actually French as well, uh, decided, well, had the idea to build one with the windows uh, in here for, uh, to host guests as an accommodation. And I think this type of building is also uh, used a lot for greenhouses because it keeps the heat, you know, uh, it's mm. a, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, warm in the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's warm in the winter. Mm -hmm. There is a, a heater inside, and we can add an extra heater also if needed in case of a harsh winter. <laughs> <laughs> but it is warm yeah. inside. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. And it's really beautiful with the snow all over, of course, and the skies that the sky. Yeah, the stars, northern lights. And Auk þessa sinna ferðamönnum á Árbakka starfar parið líka hjá Böggvinsbrauði sem sér hafi sig í bakstri súrdeksbrauða úr lífrænu kveiti frá Fraklandi. Þau segjast vera ánað á Norðurlandi og að fólki í Þorpinu hafi tekið þeim vel. In the winter time helped us digging out our car uh, out of the snow and yeah, invited us over for dinner and they've been really nice. Some neighbors took us out on sea to fish also. So yeah. It's a really nice feeling to be here. How do you see the future? Uh, well, we are happy here in, the, in this nature, in Iceland. So I guess we will stay a few years at least and yeah, we'll see.